In the first method, we will download the hardware station and all the blocks at the same time. Here are several important notes. First, the CPU will be placed in the stop mode during the hardware station download. Second, to do this full station download from Somatic Manager, the CPU's address must be the same as the address in the hardware configuration, or this will not work. Third, the PGPC interface of Somatic Manager must be set to agree with how you are connected to the PLC. If you need help with setting the interface, watch the video on setting PGPC interface. Click on your station. Click the download button. Click yes to the system data replacement message. If there are any differences in the online and offline data, it will be flagged with the yellow triangle. Here the CPU name in the project is different than what's in the CPU. Click OK to continue downloading the offline station and overwrite the online data. After the hardware station is downloaded, all the blocks will be downloaded as well. If the blocks already exist, you'll be prompted with an overwrite message. In this demonstration, there are no blocks in the CPU, so the blocks load with no warnings. The CPU was placed in the stop mode during the hardware station part of the download. Click yes to restart the CPU and put it back in the run mode. If your hardware station was up to date, but you wanted to do a blocks download, click the blocks folder and click the download button. A caution message tells you to check the sequence of the blocks for correct functions. By doing a full blocks folder download, it is possible that calling blocks could be loaded before the blocks that are being called. If this happens, the CPU will go to stop. If you have doubts about the order, it would be better to select the blocks individually and download them. For this demonstration, we'll go ahead and replace all the blocks, so click OK. Since the blocks existed, we will click All to download and overwrite all the blocks. The System Data folder is part of the Blocks folder and contains the hardware configuration. After the blocks are downloaded, you are asked if you want to download the system data. If the hardware configuration is up to date, click No. Also, be aware that if you click Yes, the CPU will be set to stop while the hardware configuration loads. If you would like to download the hardware configuration alone, or if the CPU's address is different than what's in the hardware configuration, then open the hardware configuration editor and download from there. Click on your station, then double click hardware. Click the download button. The CPU listed in the hardware configuration will appear as the target module to download to. Click OK. Because the IP address in the offline hardware configuration matches the address of the CPU, the download window sees the CPU and displays the MAC address and module type as shown in this window. If the MAC address and module type information were missing, the download would be unsuccessful. You can poll the network to see what nodes or stations are accessible by clicking the View button. It is only necessary to do this if your module type is not showing. To demonstrate, we'll poll the network. If you are trying to replace the CPU's address, you could select the CPU from the Accessible Nodes list and continue with the download. After the download, the CPU's address would be changed to the address in the hardware configuration. Click OK to continue with the download. Click OK to the stop message. Click Yes to restart the CPU and put it in run mode. The download is complete, so close the window. The last method shows how to individually download blocks from the Blocks folder. Select the block or blocks that you want to download. A special note here is that the blocks will download in the order that you select them. So if you have a block that is being called, select it before the block that is doing the calling. And click the download button. If the block or blocks already exist, you'll be prompted to overwrite them. This concludes methods for hardware station 